Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I wanted to share my thoughts about the whole Martell is in therapy and using male's therapy situation. I don't know if there's any truth to that or where it originated from. So my commentary is going to be from a place of if it is true. So word has it that Martell had an outburst behind the scenes at his past, you know, at this past reunion. If there's any truth to that, and I know that Carlos was crying and shit talking about he believed Martell has this outburst out of hurt or anger or whatever. But he never said which outburst because he's had several, especially in the presence of male, because that's usually who his outbursts are aimed at or whatever. So if he did have an outburst at the reunion, I want to talk about why first. OK, I heard male say that she was about to lead a reunion and not film it, I believe, because someone um, kept trying to use her personal car service. She has a personal driver that she uses and she pays for him out of pocket whenever she's in L.A. And the reunion was in L.A. So she used that particular driver again, I guess, while she was you know, getting ready for the reunion. Um, I think she said the driver had text her, let her know that one of them was trying to use him to take them somewhere. OK, and Mel said that she wasn't going for it pretty much because she pays for her driver out of pocket and she wasn't responsible for someone who wanted to pull up looking a certain way. All right. Now, she wasn't in a limo or anything. I, she was in like a, um, a it was a black SUV or whatever. Either way, she wasn't down with whomever uh, was trying to use her driver. And that's totally understandable, especially because she was paying for him out of pocket the same way whomever else could have paid for them a car service. My thing is why couldn't it show or production or whomever, you know, provide car service for those that needed it. That would make sense. But I heard they don't even get paid to film. They don't even get paid much to film. So I can see them not paying, you know, anything extra for car service. It sounded like they was on the Alita Adams. I don't care how you get here. Just get here when you can, because I ain't paying for shit. So, of course, you know, Mel, uh, when Mel revealed that, I was like, OK, I highly doubt that the Scots, either couple, would be asking to use Mel's anything. And I damn sure know that it wasn't Wanda. Plus, I think I remember seeing Wanda and Kiki driving around L.A. in their own cars when they got there, you know, to film the reunion. Not together, but, you know, separately. So that automatically left me assuming that it was either Destiny or Martell. I was thinking Destiny because I haven't seen her pull up, you know, to anything in her own ride. Even at her Madani event, she pulled up in the passenger side of Belinda's ride. And we know that, you know, Martell didn't have his car during the time of the reunion because Ariane's old look at me face ass made sure to show us that she was in Martell's truck while he was away filming for the reunion. She tried to act like she was turning around to tend to Knox in the back seat, but she was turning around and moving her head this way and that way so we could see the headrest to let us know that she was in Martell's truck. She got on live just to show us that. The girl is just sad. She ain't got him though. Somebody was down in the comments not too long ago talking about, you know, he had her stashed away at a hotel in LA while he, you know, filmed the reunion. But I don't know about that. I don't believe that. People just be making up any old thing. Anyway, so I assume that it was either Martell or Destiny wanting to use Mel's car service. I don't see Destiny being bold enough to ask Mel. However, maybe Martell thought that Mel wouldn't care since she allowed him to vacation with her and the family and Destin. And when he found out that Mel didn't want him using the car service maybe he you know blew the fuck up like he always do when he deals with her and this is just me speculating because i don't know for sure but what i will say is that martel said that he's been in counseling for a year my thing is i feel like he's a fucking liar if he was in counseling for a year how was it that he was in his truck on live with those sunglasses on and that red hat talking about he didn't need counseling what a judge, I believe, mandated that he and Tank go. And he was like, Tank don't need no therapist. He needed his daddy. And I stand to correct him because, in my opinion, Tank needs a daddy that's in his right mind. Also, I heard Mel say that he was ordered to go to court but hadn't went yet. Now, if that's true, how did he come up with him being in counseling for a year? He probably pulled it up out his ass just like every other claim he makes. But word has it that, you know, he's in counseling. Um, now due to an outburst and he's allegedly using male's therapist. I'm not sure if that's true. Okay. Some say that that particular therapist is on own's payroll. I don't think male would use own's therapist. I believe she went and sought that one out on her own. I could be wrong though. I don't know. But if Martell is using her therapist, I call bullshit. But first I want to say that anybody who is looking to better themselves and really 
looking to get their minds right, they would do it without being mandated to do it. I mean, maybe mandated therapy is the push some people need since they refuse to do it on their own. Some people think that, you know, he just doing it to keep his job. I don't believe that. And here's why. If Carlos haven't fired Destiny after going on for like three seasons without a storyline, he ain't about to fire Martel, especially when he cool with Martel. I highly doubt if Martel's job was in jeopardy. If Martel is in therapy, I feel like it is one of his last attempts to get Mel back. Because after Mel confirmed that she had a man, shit got real for Martel, in my opinion. See, as long as Mel um, wasn't openly admitting to seeing anybody and she was saying how she was traveling alone and wasn't ready for another relationship and all that, Martel was semi-okay, meaning hopeful that he still had a chance with Mel. Now that she has openly admitted to having a man, he probably don't know what to do other than to, you know, fake like he's trying to get the help that he needs and been needing for years in hopes of getting Mel in hopes of, you know, Mel taking him back. He probably thinking like, what if she is, uh, you know, serious about this guy? I mean, she got to be if she openly admitting to being in a relationship with him. What if they get married? I can't have that. I can't have another man around my kids because we all know that he said that shit. OK, and he meant that shit. The only man, you know, he want around his kids is him. And I use that term loosely. OK, but he forfeited that when he decided to forfeit his family for Ariane. Yes, one of the reasons that he don't want his kids, is, you know, especially his son around Marcus, in my opinion, is because Marcus is gay, but also because he knows how much the kids enjoy being around Marcus. I mean, you know, and that's in my opinion. I mean, in one of the episodes in like season three, didn't Marcus say that the kids um, told him that they wish that he could be their dad or something like that? And Martel had threatened Marcus, threatened to put hands on him that day that um, they were dressed alike in those costumes at Tisha's event, I believe some event or whatever, Martel want to be able to always have his kids' minds so he can manipulate them how he wants to, in my opinion. He don't want the kids loving any other man. So he's probably thinking about that as well, in my opinion. I mean, the kids is all he has and they're his only connection to male. That's why he uses them to get to male, in my opinion. He, you know, he uses them to get to her. He sees them as a way to get what he wants from male and it hasn't been working out for him. So in my opinion, this is where it could possibly get dangerous. I can't tell you how many stories I done seen pop up online, you know, within these past few weeks with the headlines of, you know, so-and-so killed his ex, uh, his ex because she ended things. And like I said before, I hate to put that out there, but you can't underestimate a nigga, especially a nigga who done lost it all, including his mind. As long as Martel was feeling like there was hope, he was okay, in my opinion. Now that Mel is, you know, taken by another nigga, no telling what he may try. Now, like I mentioned in my previous video, people been saying Martel has been into it with uh, Carlos because Carlos won't allow Ariane to film. I felt like it wasn't true because I didn't believe that Martel really wanted her on the show. Some think he trying to, um, some think he's trying to get Ariane on the show, you know, to fuck with Mel because she has a new man. I agree that Martel would do anything in his power to fuck with Mel because he still ain't over her leaving him. But I just can't see Martel being okay with Ariane being on the show. And if she get on the show, it's not like they're going to be true. It's going to be some rehearsed ass bullshit that they put on for the cameras because he don't want his real life out there. You know what I'm saying? Furthermore, not only will the show end because Mel going to walk the fuck away from the show, in my opinion, but the viewers ain't going to watch the shit because in no way does a home record deserve a spot on the show for fucking somebody else's husband. Why should she be rewarded for whole behavior? And speaking of a hoe. Um, I heard that her sister was a hoe too. <laughs> I heard that her sister was a hoe who fucked around with Marceau back in the day. I heard somebody say that Ariane was on live. All right. Not live I heard on a phone call or something with her friend. It was a recorded phone call. I believe they said, um, and it kind of sounds familiar. It was a while ago, but anyway, Ariane was saying, allegedly saying how she had already had plans. She had already had it planned to make Martell her cat daddy because she knew that he was on the show. 
and that her sister was messing around with Marceau. Now, we all know that Martel and Ariane are both pathological liars, so I'm not saying that there is any truth to that shit. She could have just been running her alligator mouth, but if she did plot to hook up with Martel knowing that he was married, why would she deserve to be on a show? And not just any show, but the show of a woman whose husband she was fucking on. We then, you know, I, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand it, but I don't think we have to worry about that. But anyway, I feel like we, the people need to make sure that, you know, she is forced to pretty much take her trifling ass out there and get a real job like regular people do. These hoes, as in, you know, Ariane and Martel, they busy trying to be stars when what they need to be doing is getting them resumes together so they can hand them out to those recruiters. Y'all, can y'all imagine, can y'all imagine them trying to make it through an interview? Here go Martell ass. Well, I was the breadwinner of my family and things of that nature. But then I was forced to step out of my marriage because my wife at the time had 20 something boyfriends. So I had no choice and things of that nature, you know. So the peasant that I stepped out with didn't have an IQ large enough to earn a living, large enough to support the lifestyle that I once had with my ex-wife. So here I am applying for this job, you know, hoping that you see fit to give it to me so I can keep up with my ex-wife. So I too can afford expensive boats, lavish vacations, and a house on the hill. And here go Ariane. Well, all I know is I'm very happy to be here because I wasn't certain that I would be here because my son Knox just went upside my head with one of his toy cars. It was a toy car, but it still hurt. In fact, my daughter said that I was unconscious for a minute, so I didn't know if I was going to be here. So now I'm here, and I come from a two-parent household that only had one parent, period. I'm that bitch. Been that bitch. My previous experience will be using the word likeness, and I'm really smart. I can say the word likeness, likeness like 50 times in less than five seconds. And I cook a mean hot dog. I know how to sleep with other bitches' husbands. And I can get online while my baby coughing up his lungs just to talk shit on the ground. So do I have a job or no? No, bitch. I don't think you do. Whack-a-mole looking ass bitch. Y'all, I can't with these two. I really can't. They really work my nerves. But back to this therapist thing, even if Martel is in therapist, I don't think it's because he truly wants that for himself. I feel like there's an agenda behind it. Plus, a man who don't really think that there's, you know, nothing wrong with him will find something wrong with every therapist he sees, if he sees any. I know when I went with my ex, he tried to say that the woman was attacking him and she was doing no such thing. She was telling him things about himself that he didn't want to accept. Narcs can't stand the truth. The truth is unacceptable for them, which is why their whole lives are built on lies, on top of lies, on top of more lies. Oh, what's your name? Betty Boop? How old you is? Eight? Where you from? Alaska? What's your blood type? Negative A, B, C, D, E, F, G. How many kids you got? Zero. Well, why have you been ordered by a judge to pay child support? Because the judge didn't have nothing else to do but make me pay money for some kids that look like me and got my DNA run through their veins. Just complete and utter fucking liars and fucking clowns. Shit. If Martel is seeing a therapist, I would be willing to bet that it's because he thinks that, you know, it's going to get mail to take him back. I know Martel listened to my shit. At least I feel like you do. And I've said several times that his clown ass keep trying to get mail back and hasn't done. He's done absolutely no work on himself. Not one therapy session. He probably thinking that, you know, this is going to get him his wife back. And when it don't, Mel better ask for her city officials. And she better ask um, her city officials to send the National Guards out to her house. They train for combat and domestic emergencies. And it's going to, you just can't underestimate it. It's going to be them against Martel. Then they're going to be in the middle of the street in some tight ass, ripped up ass, incredible Hulk pants and one of Knox tight ass tank tops talking about King Kong ain't got nothing on me. He's going to have a whole house in his hand ready to throw it at whomever try to stop him from getting the mail. 
and he's gonna have Summer Walker song insane playing in the background. His ass gonna have theme music and everything. Motherfucker crazy. I'm hoping it don't really go down like that, but the truth is he can't be underestimated. That would be a dangerous mistake, in my opinion, to underestimate Martel. Hopefully, you know, he's in there to do the work and not just because he think it's going to get him his wife back. And out of all the therapists in the world, why would he go to the same one as male if that's what he's doing? He probably think that, you know, that particular therapist is going to go back and report to male that he's a changed man <sighs> with his old crazy ass chocolate peanut m M&M head ass. I tell you one thing, if he is in therapy, <laughs> he need to put his leash on uh, Aryan and walk her ass down into the therapist alongside his ass. She need to be up in that bitch like, I got next. She going to be like, Carlos said he going to pay for it. Martel going to be like, bitch, stop lying. Carlos didn't say shit. Just tell her to put you on the sliding scale so she can slide your ass on and she know we ain't got shit. That's why we need help because we ain't got shit. Mel got everything. Because you woke your ass up one morning and decided that you wanted to play. I'm going to keep the baby. Y'all, I'm done with these clowns. Y'all take care. And I'll chat with y'all in the next one.